Born in Sarnia and raised in Milton, Ontario, Chris Hadfield became interested in flying at a very young age and joined the Air Cadets. He won a Glider Pilot Scholarship at the age of 15 and would later win the Powered Pilot Scholarship at the age of 16. Chris graduated from Milton District High School in 1977 and then would attend the University of Waterloo and the Royal Military College in Kingston. He would receive a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a master's degree in aviation science. Fourteen years after Chris joined the military working as a test pilot, he was chosen to be one of four new Canadian astronauts out of 5,330 applicants. He would prove to be one of Canada's most famous and loved astronauts. Chris Sadfield was a man of many firsts, being the first Canadian ever to operate the Canada Arm, the first Canadian ever to perform a spacewalk, and the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station, also known as the ISS. Chris Sadfield made a first for every one of the three times he went to space. He is also heavily involved in social media, broadcasting YouTube videos and tweeting tweets about the daily events. He kept his fans and followers interested by including comedy in what he did. He even wore a Leafs t-shirt on his way back to Earth to support the Leafs on their Game 7 against Boston. To become an astronaut, you first have to be either a test pilot, an engineer, or a scientist of some sort. Once you've achieved this, you can go ahead and apply to be an astronaut. And if you get in out of the 5,330 applicants, you then go for a one-year training course at NASA to become an astronaut. Once you finish this and you get assigned to a mission, you then have to go for two or more additional years of training to specify for that mission. If you'd like to be a commander like Chris was, you have to go on at least two other missions before you can be a commander. persevered through the whole process despite the difficulties he faced. He believes that anybody can be whatever they want if they're willing to put the work in. This mode of thinking is what got him to the stars. This is a quote from Chris Hatfield that helped him get him where he is today. Decide in your heart of hearts what really excites and challenges you, and start moving your life in that direction. Every decision you make, from what you eat to what you do with your time tonight, turns you into who you are tomorrow and the day after that. Look at who you want to be and start sculpting yourself to that person. You may not get exactly where you thought you'd be, but you'll be doing things that seat you in a profession that you believe in. Don't let life randomly kick you into the adult you don't want to become.
it's going to be an inspiration to all of us, even those of us who are happy to stay on Earth. If we think the same way he did, we too can achieve anything we want, as long as we are willing to work hard at it. Never give up on something you believe is good, or what you want to do. Believe you can do it. Just remember, the sky is not the limit.